This is my diverter valve, the bad one, the one that's leaking, from um, my Valiant uh, Ecotech boiler, Ecotech Pro. And I've changed this diverter valve uh, cartridge uh, three times. And it always leaks out from this little um, seal there that seals around the shaft. Um, and I had a look at the, these cartridges. They're, they're cheap enough to buy and you can get a kit to change them quite easily. So you don't have to remove the diverter valve from the boiler. But um, I'm just wondering, uh, can this seal be improved so that it doesn't wear out so quickly? I mean, I know the hard water can, the scale can, can be quite abrasive and cut into the O-rings inside there. <clears throat> but uh, I had a look at it. And it looks like that retaining washer clip in there looks like it can be pushed out. And I want to see what these seals are like on the inside. And maybe maybe they can be changed to something else that, that presses a bit harder onto the shaft. Or maybe more of them can be put in. Maybe they can be packed in a bit more. Um, because uh, I live in a very hard water area. And I just don't see a solution to this problem. I mean, you can't keep on changing this. The boiler is supposed to tolerate hard water better, better than this does. And... Um, I've got inhibitor in my system, uh, the water is pretty clean, I've got one of those mag, magnetic clean filter things. Um, so I just think it's the lime scale that must be destroying this, uh, these o-rings. So let's have a look to see if we can take this thing apart. So if we pull the, the shaft out, um, it looks like that washer can be pushed to the side. So now that the shaft is out, I mean the retaining washer is out. Um, I'm sure all of that lot should push out. Yeah, look, see, it's all coming apart now. So there's a packer. Poking device. Well, there we go. It's all out. So there's another packer and O ring, spacer, O ring, spacer, and another big spacer. So these O rings are the only thing that seals onto the shaft. And they're either really worn or they're pretty crap because they don't seal on the shaft all that well. So I'm wondering what we can do about this. So if I'm looking at this uh, shaft here, it'd be nicer if this entire space between there and there could either be multiple O-rings or if we can fill up this space with silicon rubber, a good quality silicon rubber, set it in, um, find something that's a smaller diameter than the shaft, only slightly smaller, like a fraction of a mil smaller or maybe 0.2 mil smaller, set it in the silicon sealant with this packer on the side on, on the end, set it for a couple of days until it's hard and then easily just gently pull it out then we'll have something that has a nice perfect shape from there to there that's made out of silicon rubber which is quite durable and then in theory when you push this back in it'll press quite hard onto the shaft because it's set a slightly smaller diameter than this is meant for but because it's silicon rubber it's got give in it and it'll be able to push in and then if we put some silicon grease on it that should seal quite tightly around the shaft and uh, it should, in theory, seal all the way along from there, all the way to there, not just on a few pinch points from the O-rings. So I'm going to give that a try. So I've cleaned it up nicely. Um, and I was thinking, uh, on the inside, if we fill it up with silicon, and then we need to find something that's 
a smaller diameter than the shaft. So if we measure the shaft, um, it's about it's about three. Let's call it three millimeter on a cold shaft. So if we find something that's a bit smaller than that, then we can make a tight seal around it. And I found this. Um, this is the inside of a pen. If I measure that, so if that's three mil for that sh that shaft, if we measure that. It's two point seven. So it's smaller. So if we set the silicon around this uh, inside of a pen shaft, then um, when that's set, the rubber seal we make. Um, will be smaller than the diameter of this shaft. But that's good, so it'll have to stretch tightly around the shaft and it'll have compression onto the shaft to seal it. And it'll be a bigger seal than just those few O-rings. So I'm hoping that the silicon would be quite durable. Especially if you lubricate it up a bit first. Hopefully it's not too tight of a seal so it prevents the motor from pulling this bar up and down. So let's give that a try. I mean, I don't want to go much smaller than that because then it might make it too tight of a seal around here. But we can't just set this in the silicon because then we don't have a seal that actually compresses onto um, onto the shaft. So uh, put a silicon in there and then put it together and let it dry. So I think if we're going to do this, we have to be sure that there's no air bubbles or anything inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up and then try, try and squeeze it through the hole. So I'm going to start at the bottom, see if it comes out, and then slowly fill it up till it comes out the top. Right, so we squeeze it all the way through there. So if we take this little packer, we put it in there, we actually squeeze it through. Yeah. Maybe if we block the opening on this side. Don't want to have any air in it, so. Okay, we need to get, get it to a point where we know we just beneath the it's a bit further down still. Now this retainer clip needs to go in. Trying to get rid of all the silicon goo that we don't need. That we don't want to cause trouble inside the boiler. Right. This retainer clip can't, can't actually fall out because once the shaft's in place, it can't slide out. So it should be okay where it is. Clean that up with a bit of tissue. So now if we take this shaft and we simply poke it through there, I think from this side. So hopefully that will make a nice seal. So we leave that setting for a few days 
And once that's dry, we can then pull this out and that should fit our new silicon O-ring seal, which is, will be bigger than those two O-rings and it'll be pressing a lot harder onto the shaft. And see if that works and then test it in the boiler. Two thousand years later. Okay, so the silicon sealant has had um, two days to set. So we're going to pull the inside of the pen um, out carefully. I put some washing up liquid on it so it comes out nicely so it doesn't damage the silicon as I pull it out. So now the silicon is set to a smaller diameter than the original shaft, which is a good thing. So now if we lube up the shaft with a bit of uh, silicon grease, And um, maybe put a bit into the cartridge as well, just to help it along. That's a nice tight fit now. I can tell that it's sealing really nicely on the shaft. It actually feels tighter than a brand new cartridge does um, so it'd be a good experiment to try that on the boiler and see how long that lasts um, because those original o-rings wore out quite quickly i think it's from the abrasiveness of the um, lime scale building up on the shaft um, so i don't know how durable that silicon seal will be but it feels really nice and snug on that shaft so I'm sure that won't leak now but we'll give it a try and uh, I'll have it in the boiler for about a week and then um, there's a little hole you can see the shaft and I'll show you if it's leaking inside the boiler and then uh, I can do a follow-up video and we'll see in a couple of months time if it still leaks but if anything um, it gets me out of trouble. I've got a brand new one that's arrived the other day in the post. So if um, if for some reason it goes tits up, I can replace it with an, an original part. But I'd really like to know if this works. So the, the repaired cartridge is in inside the diverter valve. And um, at the moment it's in heating. So open the tap. It's pulling out and it's not leaking, it's not leaking around the shaft. So, our homemade o ring seems to be doing the trick. Close the tap, Let's see if the shaft when the shaft moves, if it leaks. leaking. So that's our diverter valve um, kind of fixed. We'll have to keep an eye on it and it's just an experiment. Um, I don't recommend everybody do this because it's not really my fault if your diverter valve starts leaking but uh, it's something I'd like to try just to see if it could work. I've got a brand new one ready to go in if this leaks. So my experiment had quite good results. After three weeks it still didn't leak but I decided to replace the original cartridge. So uh, that was a fun video. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe.